lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim Robinson.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. I am truly. <laughs> Amen. I am truly, truly excited to be on the radio show, Elasian Radio. Let's just give it up to Kimmy Kim. I am excited for her allowing me to be on the show. Amen. Are well, y'all ready for a word on this evening? When I tell you God has gave me a word and I cannot wait to release this word, I just believe that this word is about to bless you. It is going to encourage you. But before we get started, let us go into prayer. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you. Hallelujah. God, we just thank you, Lord God, that you are the great I am. We thank you, Lord God, that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. God, we thank you, Lord God, for being our friend. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you understand us. We thank you, Lord God, that you accept us. We thank you, Lord God, that you love us. We thank you, Lord God, for your joy. We thank you, Lord God, for the spirit of peace. God, we thank you, Lord God, for looking beyond our faults, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for the spirit of grace, oh God. Father God, we understand, Lord God, that we don't deserve certain things, God, but we thank you, Lord God, that you are so gracious, oh God, you are so understanding. Standing, oh God, you're so forgiving, oh God. You look beyond our faults, oh God. You look beyond everything, oh God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you still accept us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that when we felt like giving up, oh God, you have always given us the strength to carry on. So, Father, we give you glory and honor. We bless your name on today. Hallelujah. God, we just we just lift you up. Hallelujah. We bless your name on today, oh God, for you are mighty. Hallelujah. We give our hearts back to you, oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus, if it's anything that's in our hearts, anything that is in our spirits, anything that is in our minds, anything that is in us, oh God, that is not like you, oh God, any sin that we have committed, oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you are creating us, oh God, a new heart and renew within us a right spirit. Anything that will cause us to be divided, oh God, anything that will stop us, Lord God, from hearing from you, oh God, anything that will cause us, Lord God, to be out of position, out of alignment, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you restore that you will revive, oh God, that you, Lord God, will bring us back into our position, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And now, God, we just thank you, Lord God, that you are so loving. We thank you, Lord God, that you're so understanding in the name of Jesus. Now, God, we ask, oh God, that as I begin to speak the word of God, Father, I pray, oh God, that you, Lord God, will allow your words, oh God, to flow through me, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that whatever I say, oh God, that it is only from you, oh God, Help me to be led by the Spirit, oh God, and not by the flesh, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. We just bless you on today, God. We give you glory and honor on today, God. We exalt you. Hallelujah. We bless you on today, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, that you are our God. You are our rock. You are our sword. You are our You are the one that we can run to, oh God. Hallelujah. So we bless you on today. We bless you on today. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. You said in your words, oh God, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. So God, we have breath and we praise you on today. God, we thank you, Lord God, for being a provider. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us everything that we need, oh God. For you are Jehovah Jireh. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you supply every one of our needs, oh God, according to your riches and glory. So, God, we thank you, and we bless you on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just refuse to move without the Spirit of God. Amen. Sometimes you just have to tap in, and you have to wait until the Spirit of God says go. Amen. Amen. So I'm just excited. So before I get started, please place your phone on mute because I just believe that God is about to bless you. Amen. And so on, um, what day was that? On Saturday, God began to minister to me 
Um, I took a couple of days um, off of Facebook. I said, you know what, God, I need some time with you. I need to spend some time with you. And so just a couple of days, God began to just minister to me. He uh, began to just let me know who he was in my life. And and as I just began to just tap in, um, I had went to the hotel on Saturday evening. And I said, you know what, I just want to get away. And I want to relax. It was so much pressure, a lot of things that I've been carrying, me being in school and just doing so many things. I said, God, I just need to relax. I need to just clear my mind. And as I went to the hotel, it was me and my daughter, and we just relaxed. We had a good time. And I got in the hot tub. And it's so important that you get some quiet time. I'm always talking about Go before the Lord and make sure that you have that quiet time with the Lord. And so my daughter, I, she was in the um, pool and I was in the hot tub and I was just relaxing. And as I began to just relax and I was just sitting there and I was just thinking. And sometimes when you're sitting there, you're thinking, you're like, man, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. And God began to just minister to me and he began to show me what I had in him, amen, and it really, really encouraged me. That's why I always encourage the people. I say make sure that you take some time out of your busy day. It's so important that you make sure that you spend time with the Lord because there's so much that can cause you to be drained. I mean, I'm talking about your job, your kids, um, your bills, relationships, so many things that can cause you to be drained. And the only way that you can renew your strength is in the Lord. Amen. You can find things that can encourage you and uplift you, but I'm talking about the everlasting strength. I'm talking about the joy of the Lord, the everlasting strength, that joy that will strengthen the inner man when you are feeling weak, but the, the joy of the Lord will begin to strengthen the inner part of you. Amen. And so what I tell you, I was just sitting there and God God just began to minister to me, and this is what he told me. He said, he said, external things cannot be fixed by, he said, he said, external things, I'm sorry, internal issues cannot be fixed by external things. Amen. Internal issues cannot be fixed by external things, and a lot of times, in our lives, we always look for things. We look for relationships. We look for money. We look for a position. We look for a job. We look for status. We, I mean, it's just so many things that we look for to fulfill a void or to um, comfort us. And God just began to minister to me. He said, those things cannot fulfill you. Those things cannot, only thing they can do, they can, you can enjoy those things, you can have a good time, but at the end of the day, when everybody is away and when all those things are gone and you're by yourself and you're all alone, your emotions begin to speak to you and you will know right where you are. Amen. And so I'm telling you, when God began to say, he said, those things can, he said, look, your car, your relationship, your job, those things cannot fix um, internal issues. You may have been through a situation in your life where um, a, a relationship left you feeling broken. And when I tell you that relationship may have left you feeling dry and empty, and you may have thought that that thing can make you be fulfilled, and I'm telling you, nothing can make you be fulfilled until you tap in, until you spend time with the Lord, until you start reading your word, until you really start getting behind the scenes and begin to pray and ask God to fill that void, ask God to heal those pains. And as I was looking, I was sitting in the um, the hot tub, and I was just relaxing. And I seen this uh, couple, I seen this relationship, and I was like, hmm, I wish I could have that. And when I tell you, immediately God 
stop me. He said, no, because I'm fixing something internal in you, amen, so that you will never get back into another relationship thinking that that relationship can fulfill you. And I can be real. I can be transparent. I ain't got to act like I have it all together because I understand where my strength and where my help comes from, amen. And so God told me, he said, no, I am doing a new thing in you. And I just believe that God is doing a new thing. I believe that God wants to tap into the inner part of you. Amen. I believe that God want to get so deep down on the inside of you so that you won't look for um, drugs. You won't look for sex. You won't look for alcohol. You won't look for these things to fill a void. I'm telling you, those things will not be able to make you happy. Amen. But I'm telling you, only thing that will be able to fill a void in your life is Jesus Christ. And so many times we put Jesus on a back burner. We only deal with God when we have an issue and when we have a problem, but God said on today that we need to tap in and understand that we need him. We got to surrender, let go of some things. So you know what, God, I no longer want to have control over my life. I'm going to tell you, that's when things start happening for me. When I said, God, I no longer want to have control over my life. When I mean, what do I mean by saying I no longer want to have control over my life? That says, you know what, I'm going to give up everything and I, I I don't care if I lose friends. I don't care whatever I have to do to get Jesus. I am going to make sure, amen, I'm going to make sure that I touch the hem of his garment. I'm going to make sure that I tap into his presence because I understand that when that man left me, that left me feeling broken. I understand that when that man left me feeling so dry and I felt like I didn't have nothing to carry on and I know who carried me, the one that was able to pick me up with no church when nobody was around. The only person that was able to pick me up was Jesus Christ. When I was crying so much and I felt like giving up and throwing in the towel, God said, you know what, it is not so I have a purpose and a plan for your life. So I am here to encourage you that God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Amen. You have to understand that that bad situation, God said he's going to turn that thing around for your good. You got to understand that bad situation is for God to get you so he can get your attention. Amen. Sometimes you got to say, you know what, God, I no longer want to dictate my life. God, I surrender. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm just sensing on the line that somebody is carrying something heavy. Somebody got a heavy load. Low. But I decree and declare that you no longer have to carry that heavy load. You no longer have to carry that emotional baggage. You no longer have to carry all of those things that people have said about you. People have lied about you. People have walked out on you. You no longer have to carry that worthless spirit. You no longer have to carry depression. You can give those things over to the Lord. The Bible says if you cast all of your cares upon him, for he cares for you. What do I mean? God really cares about your situation. He care about your situation. I'm not just going through the motion and trying to entertain you. I'm being real. God care about your situation. If it ain't nobody else that care, I want you to know that God care about your situation. God love you so so much. He sent his son Jesus to die up on the cross for your sins. Amen. And so it ain't nothing too big that God can't fix. Amen. A lot of times we think, you know what, I got too much baggage. I got too much that I carry. It's so much that I done been through. It's so much that I done done. It's so much that I done said. I've lied. I've cheated. I have um, did so many things that were so wrong. How can a God accept me? My God. But one thing that I can say, that God God is not a um, a conditional God. He's an unconditional God. So that means that he loves you. Amen. He loves you in spite of your weakness, in spite of your failures. Amen. I pray that God begins to show you how deep and how low and how wide and how um, his love is for you. Amen. I am praying for that on today that you begin to understand the love of God. So that way you will not put a high expectation or relationship one thing I can say that for a long time I was putting expectations on men, thinking that they supposed to give me my self-esteem, thinking that they supposed to uh, boost me up, amen. But God had to get me by myself and say, no, your worth, your value, your everything, it comes from me and me alone, amen. So we have to stop looking for expectations. 
external things to fix an internal issue. Only God can heal what is broken. Amen. Only God can heal what is broken. Amen. But God can't heal it. Let me be real with you. God can't heal it if you holding on to your broken pieces. Amen. If you holding on to those situations, if you holding on to every um, thing and you saying, you know what, I don't trust. You got to be able to trust. Amen. And I, for a long time, I didn't trust people. Amen. Because I've been hurt so many times. People have rejected me. People have walked out on me. People have said they love me. And they have left me feel, they have left me feeling broken. Amen. But one thing I can say that God, my God, God can pick up those broken pieces, and that that is exactly what he did. And I'm going to tell you, it was behind the scenes. It was through a lot of praying. It was through a lot of crying. Amen. It was a, through a lot of crying. Amen. I remember just a season of just crying. So people don't understand when you just excited. Because, see, I remember that season where I was coming home crying every day and people thinking that, oh, she got it all together. No, baby. I was crying a lot of things about a lot of issues, crying about being hurt for my past, carrying on so many things, saying and thinking that people are supposed to fix those things. Amen. But I had to trust God. If you don't have nobody else to trust, you can trust God. I had to open up. You know what? Stop pulling, putting up those walls and saying, you know what, God, go so deep within me. Go so deep within me. Begin to touch me in those places that I hurt, those places that I'm grieving, those places that people don't even understand, those places that people may still laugh at. They may say, oh, you're not over that situation. You should have been done with that situation. I'm talking about those type of situations. I'm talking about those grieving situations where you're like, man, I'm still grieving about this thing. I'm still hurt about this thing. God, I need you to go so deep within the well. What do I mean about the well? Go so deep within my past. Go so deep within when people um was talking about me. Go so deep within the well, God. Heal those emotions. Begin to heal those emotions so deeply that I don't have to look for nothing in this world to make me feel better on the inside. Amen. I no longer have to look to the world to be satisfied, but I can look to Jesus Christ. I can look to Jesus Christ. And I'm not saying that, okay, you would just be completely having it all together. We all are a work in progress. Let me be real. I hate for people to act like they got it together. We are a, a work in progress. One book that I'm reading is um, Joyce Meyer. Beauty for Ashes, and when I tell you this book is so good because she goes so deep. She talk about being addicted to so many things and how your addiction is just basically because you've been so hurt from your past. It's been so many things that have um, left you feeling broken, so you look for external things to fill a void in your life. And so she just begins to break down those things and just saying that if you look for those things, you're going to keep going back. You're going to keep looking for something. You're going to keep looking for those things, and it's never going to complete you. No relationship, no um, no promotion, no job, no money. People be chasing money and all of that. None of that will be able to fix anything that's internal. How can it fix something internal, something that was broken and it's external? Amen. How can it do, how can it do that? Amen. So we have to understand that only... My God, only God can touch and fix what is broken. I'm talking about the things that you think about. People don't even even know you thinking about. I'm talking about those type of things, amen, things where you feel like dying. I'm talking about suicide thoughts. I'm talking about things where you're like, God, take these thoughts away. Begin to touch my mind. I don't want to lose my mind. God, keep me in a place where I'm sound. Keep me stable. Help me not to be emotionally unstable. God, help me to be stable in all my ways. God, I need you to go so deep. Oh, God, begin to heal me. Every curse, oh, God, every 
hell, oh God, everything that was being laid upon my life, break those curses in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of death now in the name of Jesus, and I decree and declare that you shall live and not die. In the name of Jesus, and whatever that situation, whatever that's trying to take you out, whatever that's trying to stop you, in the name of Jesus, I decree, I declare that you shall leave. The enemy will not have authority. The enemy will not rule. He will not reign in your life. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I'm just excited about that word, amen. But the Bible says, at Isaiah 61, verse 3, and provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of the spirit of of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord for the display of his glory. Amen. I'm talking about... God will take your broken situation, and he will give you beauty for ashes. But we have to make sure that we're giving him the ashes. Amen. That cigarette ain't going to fix those ashes. It ain't going to fix that pain. That man is not. apologize. I believe it disconnected. Amen. But as I was saying, just please give everything over to the Lord. Amen. And as you give all your pain over to the Lord, I believe that he will heal and fix everything that is broken. In Jesus' mighty name, be blessed, be encouraged, be strong in the Lord, and know that God truly love you. And I just want to give a shout out back to Kimmy Kim and Jerry Royce. Amen for this opportunity. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Gave me yeah. 